Hey guys, welcome to Tiny House Customs. I'm Dan. In today's video, I'm gonna clean this thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it clean. I wanna start grinding on this thing and you know, getting some of this rust off. And then what I really wanna do is put down just a primer, a brown rusty paint primer, rust-oleum brown paint onto the whole thing. Obviously, I'll go back and I'll touch areas up that get screwed up from me cutting and welding and stuff like that. But I kinda wanna protect what I've got now and, and get it ready I don't know. Don't really know what I want to do. Obviously, if you watched the last video, I'm having welding issues, so I can't really move forward in that area, but I can do this. I can also do the underside, but for some reason, my body just does not want to go under there. I just can't convince myself to get under there. No fun to go under there, but I've already come along with a razor knife and I scraped off these stickers. I don't want to paint over any stickers. It ends up showing and it looks tacky. Uh, if you grind it, the the sticky goo on the back of it becomes just like this mess of stuff. So I scraped it all off and then I'm gonna clean these with uh, some acetone or mineral spirits or some type of chemical to get the sticky goo 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 off. And then I'm also borrowing my landlord's uh, pressure washer. This thing took me about two hours to start. Finally figured out the carburetor was bad. Now I fixed a lot of carburetors in the last year. I never knew how to do it before, but watched a couple videos. I've probably done about eight which is crazy that they have eight small engines on this property, but I fixed that one in like 10 minutes. It was amazing and it worked first try, good to go. Super happy about that. And then I got this uh, simple green, which is just a you know degreaser, industrial cleaner. Yeah, kind of expensive. They had the power purple stuff with $7, this was 20. So you figure this is better, right? I would. So I'm gonna go get a, uh, a weed sprayer and put some of that in the weed sprayer. Spray this down with wetness, spray it with the thingy, pressure wash it, and see where we're at. If you're honestly thinking about taking on a project like this, like the tiny house for some reason, I was never daunted by the scale of it. But for some reason, this is just like, holy shit. It's massive. But I can hear my mom. When I was younger, I used to, you know, cry and bitch and moan about homework. I hated doing homework. But, you know, I'd, I'd have my little temper tantrums and my mom would come in, Daniel, Daniel, just take it, take your time, do one step at a time and you'll get it done. And so that's my uh, philosophy on this bad boy. I'm going to take my time, do one little piece at a time. Figure we'll do, you know, maybe 15 feet. We'll get this cleaned and primed, you know, and then maybe next time we can do another 15 or maybe we'll get we get ballsy and do 20 feet. Maybe I get lucky and do 40 feet. I don't know. <laughs> okay, this is how many gallons. What are we doing with this leader shit? Four gallons, this thing makes, uh, I hate charts. One part to 10 parts. <laughs> Let's say a third. This is really bad right here. I would say it's probably best to do this when it's shady and there's no sun. You know, because it's drying quicker than it's doing anything. Well, that's good. That's nice. This should fire right up. This is just going to freaking happen. Staging a 40 foot staging would just be Amazing for a project like this. I'm gonna spray a little more soap on there and let it sit like it said for about a minute Two minutes three minutes. I just want it to dry. It's, it's, it's already dry So it's no longer working like you would want it to work. I guess I gotta come out when it's not hot Man, you're so smart I'm an So I'm sufficiently drunk to not feel any back pain or you know soreness so I can just work hard and then tomorrow I'll wake up sore but I'm gonna jam you know so you know maybe copyrighted music over the top unmonetizable video yeah <laughs> It hurts. 
if you're not playing uh, HQ trivia, this is it right here. They're gonna ask 12 questions for a chance to win 5,000, sometimes a lot, like 300,000. And then, you know, the top people win some money, you know? It gets divided up equally. But if you're not playing it, use, uh, you know, download it, and then use my name, Tiny House Customs, in that little thing down below, so I get some extra lives. Doesn't, doesn't matter, Tiny House Customs, all one word. That's my username. And then you make your username and you join every day at 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. East Coast time. It happens. So check it out. It's gonna take about 10 hours to do that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I think that's paintable. I, you know, as much as I don't wanna do what I just did there, I think that is gonna give me like the ultimate best finish once I'm done, like I'll be proud of what I made. I definitely have to go in and hit all these rust spots. That is gonna take a shit ton of work. I'm definitely gonna break this whole project down into like chunks, you know, like my mom always said. Just one step at a time, Daniel. And that way it just doesn't become daunting because right now this is a little freaking daunting. So. Slow and steady is gonna win this race. But yeah, I think that'll be good. I kinda really wanna go and mix up some paint and paint it. I got two gallons of Rust-Oleum, rusty metal paint. I mean, just do it, just mix up a little. Let's go another five feet. And then that we can put a thick coat on. I'm gonna keep sanding, but I'm not gonna record anymore because I'm literally filling up my computer with just nonsense video, just so much. The, the storage of the data of the video is a lot of work and a lot of memory and costs money. I save all my video. I don't delete anything. So I've got these huge external hard drives that hold a lot of data. I was hoping one day to do something with it, but I guess I have the original videos, right? Should I just save the original videos and get rid of all the the extra nonsense that goes into these videos. Did you hear McDonald's is getting rid of styrofoam cups? It's a little disappointing. If you follow me on uh, Instagram or Facebook, you saw my inappropriate posts. Lost, lost a good chunk of followers on that one. Be gone. Don't need you here. But uh, yeah, they're getting rid of them. But I found them online. I can buy like 400 of them. But then I also found out that I think it's Bojangles. Yeah, Bojangles is keep, is, has the fire, styrofoam cup, so might have to switch to Bojangles. I don't even need it, McDonald's. I just go get their cups. Give me four cups. That's gonna be a dollar. Fucking give them to me. I didn't ask how much they were. I want them. Okay, I'm gonna get a respirator and hearing protection, because that, I mean, I'm already deaf. I think quick is the way to go. Real quick. Just quick, hit the rust and get the hell out of there. If it looks like rust is under the paint, hit it and go on. Stop dilly-dallying. We got a gagger. Peanut. Peanut. That's what happens when you get on the grass. You, you know what? I like the grass. I ate the grass because it made my stomach feel better and then I threw it all up. Okay, that's peanut. Oh, we're going round two? Round two. Yep. Probably won't put this uh for the peanut. You okay? Uh, yeah. I'm going to throw up. Oh, God. That was bad. Sorry. Probably won't put that in the video. So if you can kind of see, I uh, I painted that already. Now, I, I do want to apologize to you guys. I know these videos, I don't know what they've become because I'm literally filmed. I filmed like four days in a row now. And I don't know what the story is that's going to come together in the end. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be a complete mess and disaster of a story. But I think this is truly showing what goes into a project like this. I, I don't really like to just like start something and then finish it. I like to start something, get about halfway, quarter, whatever, go do something else. When I get bored there, come back here, get bored both of them, start another one. So I like to have like multiple projects going. Um, so, you know, I've been painting, I've been doing electrical, I've been doing some stuff inside. A lot of things to keep me entertained. Uh, I know it, it might look weird on in the video and the story that I'm telling, and it might be incomplete stories in the videos, but I really am trying to show you what goes into a project like this, and it's just, it's, it's massive. I, I am amazed with how big of a project this is. At some point here in the future, it will become more of a, a themed video and stuff like that, but, uh, and I guess these are kind of themed, but they're kind of whack job themed, so just bear with me and eventually we'll get into a, a better storytelling 
scenario, huh? Yeah. So I started spray painting this with my conventional spray gun. I don't have the top of it. I don't know where it is. Probably the little shit ran off with it. But yeah, I was using the, the typical air sprayer and it really wasn't putting it down thick. It was really crappy. Uh, I did buy this thing on Amazon. I think it was like 50 bucks. It was Tac Life electric spray gun. And I bought this for the sole purpose of putting the final coat of paint onto the shipping container. And uh, so I was like, well, what the hell? I'll just give it a try. And I'll tell you, this thing was the cat's meow. It put a lot of paint down in a hurry. So I'm gonna be using that from now on. If it breaks, if I you know, don't clean it right, which clearly I haven't, then it was I'm only out 50 bucks. You know, while I'm doing this right now, I do want to say thank you to all the new Patreon supporters that have come over. It's great seeing new faces, and definitely a lot of them are like new first timers, new people. Shit. Instant problem. I need to stir this. My drill's broken. Ah. Uh, should have thought four minutes ahead, but you didn't. I got my stir. You are always stupid. So when I was buying this thing, I was reading the reviews and some people were like, you have to thin it down so much for it to work. I just thinned it down like what? Three to one, one to three, you know? Two parts, one part. There's settings on this thing so you can get like a wider spray. You can have it so it's like a line this way or a line this way or a line any which way you want to go. I like the vertical line, I believe. There's a dial here to adjust how much paint comes out. It's quite nice. Ooh, thank God I put the lid on that thing, eh? So I found when I was doing the, when I did the grinding on this lower section, I hit the whole thing. I ended up leaving like rings or loops in some of the spots because I was grinding like that. So on the top half, I just hit where there was little bits of rust. If I saw rust underneath any of the paint, I would dig out the paint and get to the rust, but just touched it up and got it down to somewhat clean and then I try to make it as smooth as possible so that when I put this on it's not going to be bad. To combat that I could come back with a sander but rustic. Well it worked so good and then it decided to be crappy. So it's been a few days and I've been grinding like crazy. I've got the whole thing grinded on this side and I put some more paint on it. Last night I tried using this thing and I didn't clean it really well so it was just crap. So I spent the last like hour really cleaning it. Not like the outside but the, the parts that are important. So I've already got some paint mixed up. I'm hoping that this thing's gonna work because the first time I used it it worked really really well. I'm just gonna set up a quick little staging so I can be efficient. I was at the big box store today and I was looking at these and they were like 120 bucks, 150 bucks for like name brand ones. I don't see a difference. Obviously a true professional would, but I think this worked really well. There's nothing that could do that faster. I mean, yeah, it's not like baby butt smooth finish, but probably if I thin that down a little bit, I probably shouldn't have been smiling when I was doing that. Brown teeth, yellow teeth, eh, same thing. Oh, is that rain? Oh, well, that's nice. All right, now I gotta clean the hell out of this thing again. Yay, that's always fun. So it doesn't give it the most amazing finish, but it puts a lot of paint down really quickly. I probably showed you that in real time because that was about 30 seconds. So sorry if that was boring. But what I feel now is this is protected enough for the, the construction of this thing. You know, obviously I got the three other sides plus the roof 
I got to figure out what I'm doing underneath there, but I think it looks better than what it was before. Just a big orange Hobbage Lloyd thing. That was about a gallon and a quarter of paint and a gallon of acetone, but it was thick. That shit's, that's a thick coat of paint on there. I got some brand new black shirts. I put this one on and I opened the paint and it just exploded on me. Great already ruined the shirt so when i come back to this obviously i'm going to prime reprime areas that get messed up from me building and then when i do do the final coat on the thing which is going to be like a bluish black a dark blue um i might go back and just give it a light sanding probably not because it's just extremely time consuming overall where the dry areas are it's smooth enough it it's fine. I mean, it's got dents and dings. But I think that's gonna do it for this video. If you're new to my channel and you like this content, make sure you hit the subscribe, especially if you wanna, you know, follow along on this, this project that I'm doing here, this shipping container conversion to a house build. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Always love seeing your nonsense. Had some great nonsense, you know, past few videos. You guys have really been going out of your way to throw down some really use, useless information. Uh, wouldn't be helpful to anyone, but they do make me laugh, so I appreciate that. And uh, I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Parnat! Peanut tried attacking one of the chickens today, so I had to yell at her, so now she's mad at me. Oh, she's in the field. Come here! Come here! Pain! Parnat! <whistles> she's gonna get, gonna get bit by something. I mean... Tall grass. Peanut! You looking for the mices? Yeah, man, they're in the fields now. They're not in the barn anymore. I found them. Did you get any? No, I have not yet to get one, but I will one day. It will be fun. Well, Peanut, I wish you luck with the uh, the mices. Oh, then we don't need no luck. I am a master mouseologist. Okay, Peanut, that don't make no sense. Shut up. You don't either. Okay, thank you. Bye, Peanut.